Hello, and welcome to a demonstration of Parabens E3 Digital Forensics Platform. I am Edwin, the E3 Platform Avatar, and I will be your guide through how E3 handles important digital evidence types. First, we will begin with Windows hard drive data. Once the Windows evidence is loaded into the case file, begin by looking at the data triage tree. As you can see, E3 has collected valuable data, and laid it out, in an easy to navigate format. We can see many important data types in the triage node, such as, chat databases, email databases, pictures, registry, and more. Let's take a closer look at the email databases. Here you can see an Outlook storage file. As we drill down into the archive we will see the, IPM subtree folder, which contains the data we are after. Here you can see deleted items, inbox, outbox, and sent items. Going further into the inbox, we can see email messages with additional details such as, subject, from, to, creation date, sent date, and received date. We can then click on a specific email to see the thread, just as we would see it in the Outlook application. In the Properties tab we can see information about the selected file. Looking at the sent items, you can see the view is very much the same. Next, let's look at internet browser data. We can see here the browser is Google Chrome. When we take a closer look, we can see the search history including, date visited, and the URL. We can also find this information in the Property tab. Within this browser archive you may also find, downloads, keywords, logins, and cookies. You can see here, we are looking at bookmarks similar to the view in the browser's history section. Next, let's look at registry data. The registry tree streamlines your ability to quickly find important registry information. The, devices node, can tell you information on connected devices. Here we can see a list of mounted devices, including details in the Properties window. We can also find information on connected printers and storage devices. For our last example, let's turn our attention to the Timeline node. The summary timeline gives you an in-depth look at events, including date and time the event occurred. The Properties window can also show you the same information. We can also see the AmCache timeline, and ShimCache timeline. We can also examine the, Uninstall timeline which will show you when an application was uninstalled. As you can see, with these examples, the data triage tree has much to offer, and curates the most important data types for you, automatically. Now we will switch our focus, and look at an Apple iOS device. First, we expand the iOS data node to begin examining the parsed data. As you can see, there are many different data types available such as, properties, native applications, passwords, and messages. Let's take a closer look at messages. Here we can see the, user account, the, is sent and, is read, indicators, date read, date sent, attachments, the sender's number, the recipient's number, and the message itself. We can also click on a message, and view it in the properties window to view similar information. Next we will examine the native applications node, which contains health data. As you can see, there are a few different data types such as, heart rate, user information, steps, walking, flights climbed, and sleep. By clicking on heart rate, and scrolling down, we see heart rate events including, start date, end date, heart rate in beats per minute, device name, and device time zone. As always, we can click on an event and view those details in the, properties window. Next, we will click on sleep, and can view entries for sleep events including, start date, end date, device name, and device time zone. We can also view stored passwords by examining the, general password data folder. 
we can see a Wi-Fi password option. Click on it to view networks the device has connected to, and view information such as, network name, password, and creation date. Next, we will examine the Internet Password Data folder, and Web Form Passwords. We can see there are two entries. One for Facebook.com, which includes the login credentials. If necessary, we could use these credentials to collect Facebook Cloud data. You can find the Facebook credentials in the Authentication Data folder. This can be used to access cloud data, which I will show you later in the demonstration. Next, we will look at the installed applications. By clicking on Application Permissions, we can see a list of installed applications, with information such as, the application name, malware suspicion level, and access permissions. This information can also be viewed by clicking on an entry, and looking in the Properties window. Now we will look at the Mobile Data Triage node, for this device. Here we can see the device information such as, CPU architecture, device class, device name, firmware version, product type, and much more. Now we will use E3 to conduct an Android acquisition. Click the, Start Acquisition Wizard and select Android. There are multiple acquisition options, depending on the type of data you wish to acquire. In this example, we will be performing a custom logical acquisition, and implementing, app, downgrade methodology to gain access to, WhatsApp data. Next, clear all the selected features and check, ADB backup only, and click, continue. You will see the option for downgrading application versions during the acquisition. Select it. Additionally, we will have to select our APK file for the downgrade methodology. APK files are available for download on the Paraben website. With our configurations complete, we will start the acquisition process. During the acquisition, you will need to pay attention to the connected Android device, as it will prompt you several times for authorization. If you miss these prompts, the acquisition will fail, and you will need to restart the process. The Android has prompted for authorization to enable debugging on the device. Once granted, it will begin downgrading the application. As you can see it is downgrading com.whatsapp. Next, it will ask to confirm the backup on the device. You should see an option for, backup my data, on the device screen. E3 is now restoring the original version of the application. Once complete, E3 will automatically add the evidence to the case file. Now we can examine more closely the, com.whatsapp file, and view the, SQLite database to examine the stored messages. Here you can see the message information, including the text data. In the mobile data triage node, we can see the device information, including the SIM card number, firmware version, and model number. In this next example, we will explore the user activity timeline on a logical acquisition image of a Google Pixel 4, running Android 12. The user activity timeline is a powerful feature of E3, and provides an in-depth look at what the user was doing, and when they were doing it, on a second-by-second -second basis. For example, if we look closely at the type column, we can see entries when an application was moved to the background. In this next section, we will explore the cloud import options in E3. From the cloud data import wizard we can add accounts, using the known credentials of a target account. In this example, we will add a Facebook and Facebook Messenger account for collection. Begin by adding the credentials and click Authenticate. Next, you will have the option of selecting a custom date range and specific data related to the account type. For this example we will select all, and begin importing the cloud data. Once the acquisition is complete, it will automatically be added to our case file. When we examine the Facebook Messenger evidence, 
we see there are attachments, conversations, and profile information. Under conversations, you can view messages with the sender ID, and sender name. If a message has an attachment you wish to view, click, navigate to data, to view the attachment. In the, Facebook evidence we see there are attachments, profile information, friends news feed, albums, and a picture album list. Under news feed, all the posts are listed including, date created, sender, text preview, the URL, and any attachments associated with the post. In the, friends node are the user's connections. Next, we will revisit the authentication data from the iOS device viewed earlier. Navigate back to the, authentication data folder. Right-click the, .bin, authentication file, and export it. Next, click the cloud import wizard, and add the authentication file. The authentication file populated the wizard with an, Amazon Alexa account. The authentication data will give you the option for custom date range, and targeted data. Once the acquisition is complete, E3 will add it to our case file. Listed under the cloud import node are different data types. Under, activities there are entries of commands given to Alexa, with the actual audio files associated to the text. To listen to these files, right-click inside of E3, and open the audio file with the media player of your choice. Alexa, stop. Like Alexa, Discord, Dropbox, Facebook, Facebook Messenger, all your Google information located. The E3 interface is designed to be streamlined, and offer a variety of ways to initiate commands. One example, is that most tasks can be launched with a right click of the mouse. Here we have options for searching, and content analysis. Or, if you prefer, you can use the analysis tab. Once you open the content analysis wizard, you will see you have options to, sort, index, perform optical character recognition, and scan Windows P, E files for malware. The following tabs in the wizard offer other data analysis options, based on your requirements. An E3 add-on, called Image Analyzer, can also be used to categorize images, based on a variety of types. In this example, I have already completed the content analysis process, so we will move over to the, Sorted Files tab which contains all the data in the case file, sorted into categories. The categories include, documents, emails, chats, graphics, databases, multimedia, and much more. Documents can be viewed in the properties window. Here is a spreadsheet in the file viewer. Graphics, SQLite databases, videos and the other categories can also be viewed in the same way. For efficiency, E3 has the, sorted files search function, which allows you to quickly search by, file name, file type, and MD5 hash value. There are two other search functions, advanced search, and keyword search. Advanced search allows you to expand your search capabilities by using Boolean expressions, regular expressions, and simple searches. The keyword search function is another option, allowing you to search for a specific word. Lastly, image analysis is another powerful function, which will sort images into categories, based on their content, such as, currency, alcohol, drugs, and gambling. Thank you for joining us for this demonstration of E3. Please contact us for a live demonstration, of any specific feature, you would like to explore further.